Following a video celebrating Bagpuss, this one celebrates Clangers, another Peter Furman and Oliver Postgate collaboration for the BBC. This 1969-1972 series follows a small alien community in a distant planet. They speak no human language and communicate through whistles, with their thoughts being approximately translated by the lyrical and warm narration of Oliver Postgate himself, while they survive predominantly on blue string pudding and green soup. The series is enlivened by meticulous stop-motion animation, detailed distinctive designs best exemplified by the likes of the Soup Dragon, whose name was used by Scottish alternative rock band Glas Vegas, wait no, sorry, the Soup Dragons, and the Iron Chicken who held a supporting role in MCU's Iron Man but was deleted from the film and didn't discover this until the premiere. Vernon Elliott's orchestral heavenly score often advances or at least heavily complements the surrounding events. The series also offers an intelligent, underlying inquisitiveness, encouraging viewers to consider the concept of extraterrestrial life and display in scientific study. One episode includes an astronaut collecting rock samples. These ideas are communicated in an understandable manner, so never alienate, ha ha ha, the young target demographic. As with Bagpuss, this series is extremely restful, though a healthy measure of excitement exists thanks to its setting and recurring themes of discovery. Deciding between the two shows is difficult since they display their similar strengths in extremely different ways. Bagpuss may be my marginal preference, but this is likely to fluctuate depending on mood. A remake was made in 2015 and production values are naturally higher, but the spirit of the original is faithfully captured, while Monty Python's own Michael Palin narrates, proving himself Britain's answer to the late Oliver Postgate's original voiceovers. Well, technically, the late Oliver Postgate is Britain's answer to the late Oliver Postgate's original voiceovers, Michael Palin is probably Britain's answer to Michael Palin's voiceovers. The remake was also shown in the US where William Shatner served as narrator. In spite of the series' acclaim, clangers themselves are treated neglectfully by humans. I know several people who've admitted that they've dropped a clanger. The series embodies the purest form of science fiction and thanks to its intriguing and explorative nature, actually provides a valid early introduction to the genre. Several episodes are available on YouTube and linked in the description below. Be reminded this is a children's show so should be judged by those standards, in spite of its ambitious creativity. In conclusion, the series is what the Clangers would refer to as <laughs> which in Earth languages translates to which further translates to impressive. Those interested in the topic can find my playlist on British Children's TV in the end screen, description, or the link above. Videos on Postman Pat and Mr. Ben were suggested by the VFX man, and are strong suggestions, so will happen at some point. But after a video on Furman and Postgate's biggest hit, Clang has felt like a natural progression. Thanks for watching, now I must leave. The Iron Chicken's messaged asking why I removed his commentary from this video. He's saying it's like Iron Man all over again. You are the one supreme being just dressed to kill and fulfill just any dream. You are the one heart's desire. All hips and lips makes you trick just any fool.